up like a Friday night movie release. They had to wait until after dark to help out the Antifa protesters who always dress in all black masked up. But this is the world premiere on CNN of the Tyree Nichols police beating. So you can see the military time is 2024, which is 824. They reported in the news that the beating was at 830 p.m. So that's still six minutes away. But uh, maybe it actually starts before that. The Friday night world premiere. If you can't hear it, the man is saying, I'm just trying to go home. They're threatening to tase him. But I suppose what they would say is he's not complying because they want him to roll over and lay on his belly. So now he's getting up. Okay, so we got away. So I guess that's why the beatdown is going to come, huh? You think they'd have some footage of the reckless driving, right? They said he was pulled over for reckless driving. So with all the cameras cop cars have on him, where's the footage of the reckless driving? That's what I want to see. They did say CNN. They said there's going to be four different videos showing of the beating. They've got four videos. You think there'd be five since there's five cops. Five cops to go with nickels. Like five cents. This must be the fat cop because he's already winded. All he did was run around the corner. How can this cop be so winded? My God, man. I mean, literally, he ran like, what, 100 feet? This guy sounds like he just ran miles. The other one's coughing. He must have long-term COVID. This is post-COVID America. You want me to turn up the TV volume? Mm. Let, let me see. Let me, ah. let me see. Oh snap, what did Nathan write? I'm just trying to go home. Michael Douglas falling down for for if you haven't seen Falling Down, that movie released on the day of the 93 World Trade Center bombing, and there's also a scene where he busts up a Asian market on Corona Street. And he's complaining about inflation. And, of course, all the printing of money from the corona lockdowns is what led to the inflation. 
Talk about the ultimate predictive programming, and that was way back in 93. All right, the military time is at 8.29. They said the beating was at 8.30, so that's a minute away still. And I'm just wondering how this is going to come about since he ran away. <laughs> the officer pills out like he's a high school kid. That's what police officers are, man. They are immature. They are like little kids with badges. Yeah, this video is going to encourage everybody to run from the cops now. Look how winded this guy is. He ran a whole hundred feet. Yeah, if you got here late, you really haven't missed much. They pull him over. They threaten to taser him. They do. He runs away anyway. He got away from him. They were, <laughs> they were too fat and out of shape to keep up. So I guess we're now at the point where they're trying to locate him. Well, running with a holster might make things a little bit more difficult, but I mean, he literally ran about 100 feet and he is just huffing and puffing still. I mean, you gotta be seriously out of shape to be that winded from running that short of a distance. I'm gonna have to watch Falling Down again. Stop his ass. 
stop unfold right now. We're going to play the second video clip in just a second. What you just saw there in the very first of several uh, was in the initial part of the traffic stop right after it had started. Uh, and then Tyree Nichols runs away. One of the officers attempts to hit him by taser and fails. Uh, you then hear the chase play out on the radio. So now let's get to the second part of the video released by the city of Memphis. This one, this one is from an elevated camera mounted to a street pole. <laughs> All right, I'm sorry, uh, let, me, let me be clear. This is all coming in. Yeah, they said it's going to be four parts. It's a four-part video series, Friday night release. One of the officers on the scene. So everyone understands here, audio will start in just a little bit, but I have a, we do know here generally what's about to happen again. Police body cam, this is from one of the officers. We don't know which one. We do believe that what you will see here when the audio begins is where the actual beating of Tyree Nichols took place. So uh, you should be aware that that's what you're about to see if you want to see this. We're watching this all together. We have not seen it. Uh, and the audio is going to start in just a few seconds. Uh, so this is an officer driving up to the scene. As you know, Tyree Nichols, we just saw, had run away. A police officer tried to hit him with a taser, failed to do so. He ran and a chase ensued. This is the most disturbing one we are told that we are going to see of all this footage. So let's listen in now. So he got maced in the face right there. You can see the time is just after 8.30, because that's what they reported. It happened at 8.30. And again, in Gematria, Memphis and murder, 83. Just like how they're saying the shooting in Jerusalem today was at 8.30. They said they hung the effigy of the football player yesterday at 8.30. Thirty-three minutes past the hour. Yeah, exactly. This is after he ran away from the first scene. So, like, where's the footage coming in? You think they, because they, 
in the first video, they showed the cop driving up on him. you think they'd have something like that for this one as well. They didn't show us the reckless driving. It's just these scenes. Again, I've already put out several videos on this, you guys. For all of you asking me to explain it, you know, I've been putting out videos for the last 48 hours on this. It's a total psyop for the person with the dumbass comment. You know, get a brain. If it's on CNN, it's definitely a psyop. That's all they report on all day. They don't cover anything but psychological operations. And again, learn the same code I've been teaching about for a decade. You'll see right through all this stuff. Why are they putting this out at nighttime on 27 slash 1, where 271's the 58th prime, and everything in the news today is 58? Tyree Nichols, 58. Benjamin Crump, 58. Secret Society, 58. Freemasonry, 58. Jerusalem, 58. Hammer, 58. Paul, 58. A hammer attack, 58 days from Nancy Pelosi's birthday. All these stories are bullshit and psychological operations. For the person who says, go read a book, how about go read the books I wrote? You know, go read the books I wrote, dumbass. You're talking to an author, a researcher, someone who proves his point every day. While lemmings like you keep watching CNN going, where's the proof it's a PSYOP? Okay, God, fucking morons out here. Exactly, and the Minnesota Timberwolves just happened to be playing the Memphis Grizzlies tonight on the 102nd day of the NBA season when slavery and the N-word are 102, when police is 102, when George Perry Floyd's 102. Again, sports, news, all rigged and synced up by the same secret societies. They use the same code every day. What did they do and didn't do? We do know, of course, that two of the uh, firemen who have responded to this uh, have also uh, been fired. We don't know their role. We don't know. The one thing I have not seen yet is a beating. I saw how they just maced him in the face. I saw a mace. Where was the beating? We will also see. We understand the beating of Tyree Nichols uh, in, in, in detail from a different angle. So we're, that's going to give us a lot more information. Uh, but what this is going to be is more of that actual incident itself and the paramedics arriving. So let's listen again into this. We'll be quiet for a little bit more here at the beginning. And let's listen as the audio begins. Where is the beating at is what I want to know. I have not seen a beating yet. This is part three. The woman who's the chief of police in Memphis was the chief of police in Durham before. Somebody said this is a distraction from Durham. What's going on in Durham? Yeah. 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 
Exactly, right before Black History Month. Preston G says, why don't we just turn off the TV? I do agree. The reason I do this is because people are watching the TV and allowing it to control their lives. We're here to try to wake people up from that mind control. Got all these mind controlled zombies going along with every last agenda, which is why we hardly have any rights and liberties in 2023. Exactly. This third video is a real, <laughs> this is revealing. I mean, that's the thing too. They hype these videos, right? It's going to be appalling. It's going to be so awful what you're about to see. I mean, this looks like the way police handle everybody. CNN should upload my video from being at the almost Alamo in Yakima, just getting shoved around for asking some simple questions. I feel like I got more assaulted than this guy. Exactly, they did hype it up like it was a pay-per-view fight. Friday night fights. Yeah, if you guys have not seen the Paul Pelosi hammer attack, it's even worse than this. And again, it's just amazing how they code the exact same numbers over every last ritual, put it out by the date every single day with complete perfection, and we've been proving it for a decade straight, and still people don't get it. People got here late, they're showing us four different videos of the beating, and this is part three, so there'll be one more video after this. But so far, there hasn't been any beating. There was shooting some mace on his face. We did see that. <laughs> it's just a heat seeker camera. Yeah, it's like, what are we looking at? Rodney King video from the 90s was a lot better, exactly. Let's not forget in Gematria, Rodney King equals Tyree Nichols equals Freemasonry. Don't forget this happened right before the MLK holiday in Memphis where MLK was shot. This year will be the 55th anniversary of the death of MLK. 
five five like Nichols. Five cents. Tyree Nichols and five cops. Yeah, exactly. I mean, there's no way she's going to say her son's head looked like a watermelon. Are you going to play a This happened 33 weeks after Memphis's birthday, huh? Good catch. MSNBC said the racism towards the cops is that if they were white cops, they wouldn't have been fired. That's the way MSNBC is carrying the five black cops narrative. <laughs> they gave away a Kobe helicopter in his last career game. I did not know that. I gotta look that up, man. They still got a fourth video to show us. This is only part three. <laughs> yeah. I'm laughing at what somebody said. Part four is going to be a satellite camera. <laughs> Yeah, they just got to put out two videos today. It's funny, man. Oh, my God, my. Oh, my God. 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 Oh, my God.
No, they haven't showed the fourth video yet. There's still the third video. Yeah, it's four different angles, they said. Four different, um, four different cameras. Yeah, five comps, four videos. I see what you're saying there. That's interesting, Big Z. That's interesting. 
Are the Asian killings a PSYOP? I mean, the fact that people even have to ask that just shows how brain dead the country is. I mean, Robert Luna is telling you about a Lunar New Year's Festival shooting, and then the next day it's uh, at Half Moon Bay. All of a sudden, Asian grandpas are killers. I mean, obviously it's a PSYOP. Everything they do is a mockery. I was just documenting what they did up here in Yakima, Washington. A standoff on a street spelled almost the exact same as Alamo. And then after standing there all day, they find out that there's nothing going on. Pure mockery. Go watch my video when I went to Yakima. They didn't even have any crime tape until I got there. Once I came there, they put up the crime tape, told me to stay out. All of these things are psyops. That's all you get on the news. It's amazing that people have not figured that out in the last 20 some years. There hasn't been one real news story since 9-11. It's all bullshit. Every day, that's all you get on CNN and all this cable news. It's nothing but bullshit to control your mind so you march along their agenda. More cameras, more police, militarized police vehicles, less rights, curfew, all over their contrived bullshit as they bus in Antifa protesters to burn your city down. paramedics came obviously pretty excruciating just to watch everyone standing as Tyree Nichols is lying on the ground you also heard him there of course yelling mom 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 and crying out uh, in that uh, as well as the officers uh, sort of explaining to each other what they said had happened now we're going to play the final video for you now released by the city of Memphis and here's what this is going to be this is from an elevated camera mounted to a street pole so on this one there will be no audio but what you will see is Nichols being thrown to the ground by police and kicked in the head. You will see him handcuffed and dragged by police to a nearby car. All of this is going to be on this Skycam video, basically from a light pole uh, near where this happened. So you won't hear it. You will see it, though, and it is incredibly graphic. So I warn you about that. I want you to know, of course, as you make a decision on whether to watch it, uh, that that is what you will see here. So here it is. And in this moment, as it begins here... Uh, John Miller is it goes with the whole boy theme, right? Yelling for his mommy. What, what we have Just like the guy earlier today referred to him as a boy. Uh, we're about to see now. Yeah, what grown man's crying out for their mom? I mean, come on. So many of them. More than the five who were charged. What was even the point of the showing the first three videos? We haven't seen any beating yet. We've been we've been watching this for nearly 40 minutes. Not one evidence of a beating, and now they're going to show you the fourth video with no sound that's supposedly going to show us the beating. We'll see. Got the body cam running, arrives on that first scene. There's already screaming and yelling going on. They're already trying to drag him out of the car. So it's operating at a, a very high pitch. At a very high pitch. Now, this, what we're looking at, to be clear, we, had, we have been looking at body cams. This is not a body cam. Right. This is a different camera. This is just a camera that any city would have or a town is a camera mounted to the top of a light pole. This is a Memphis PD camera. Mm -hmm. It's halfway up a light pole that's on uh, <laughs> the area of Castle <laughs> This is a reminder of what's coming to everybody's neighborhood. They're going to have this whole nation under surveillance. Um, Chase goes on. Pretty soon they'll require a ring doorbell and it'll be owned by your local PD. Uh, well, I, I One like nation under PD. surveillance. Yes, let's watch this here. I wish I could make it. 33 minutes. When they, notice, how when they, notice how when the camera turns over to where this is going on, it just ticked from 33 minutes to 34 minutes, but it had to be right on 33. They're comparing this to Rodney King, which happened on March 3rd, 3-3. As we know, police, masonry, order, secrecy, federal, race war, they all have Gematria 33.
There's the kick. Couldn't even tell if it made contact. But it just had to be on 33 minutes when it ticked over. And, and with regards to it being on 34 minutes, that also makes sense because we know Memphis and Murders 34 and yesterday had 34 date numerology when the five officers got the second degree murder charges. The word black also equals 34. Eastgate. Eastgate is the name of the street. Rambo's always talking about um, the gates on Solomon's Temple. Remember, Tyre is connected to Solomon's Temple. Oh, he's got out the baton. Look at this guy. But yeah, it's just unbelievable how they have to do the same thing in every video, man. It just had to be right on. It had to be right on. So now they got him standing up and punching him while he's up. I mean, this should have just been the, the... They had to make the whole news segment this. They had to make you wait 40 minutes before they showed you this part. Okay, so they got him up and they're punching him. But yeah, again, that's how you can know it's just a, a sign-up right there. And don't forget, with George Floyd, where did the rioting start in, in Minneapolis? It started on 33rd Street. They were sure to show you that. They had to show you that it started on 33rd Street. They compared that to Rodney King on March 3rd, 3-3. Now, finally, the camera angle, where it's at 33 minutes past the hour. It was 8.33, then ticks over to 8.34 for the big hits. The kick to the face. The baton. Now it's at 36 minutes past the hour in Memphis, the home of 3 6 Mafia, the city on the 36th parallel. Same numbers over and over, and people can't figure it out. just a coincidence, man. You're just looking too hard, man. It's just like, you know, if you're just looking, you'll just like make the line, numbers line up, bruh. Or is it actually Castlegate? Maybe it's Castlegate Street. My eyes are getting too old. Somebody with better eyes can make out what that street is. Is it Castlegate? Let me see if I can just zoom in on it. I can't zoom in anymore. Shoot. I can get up off my ass though and walk up closer to the TV. Let me see. It is Castlegate. Castlegate Lane. Castlegate Lane is what it is. Castlegate. Castlegate. Think about it. You know there's meaning to everything they do. So at 38 minutes, look at that. At 38 minutes past, they drag his body. <laughs> As we watch this, the officers now pulled Tyree Nichols over to the car. Uh, John, that was the, the angle from the sky cam that, that showed the real horror of what occurred here. Kick after kick, punch after punch, crushed with a baton. I mean, what you're seeing is a fairly significant number of officers who... Um, are failing at arrest and control tactics and making up for it with... Okay. Power. The other thing that just needs to be pointed out is there are a lot of security cameras all throughout America at this day and age. But um, in residential neighborhoods like this, I mean, that's not that common. So what are the odds this would happen in a residential neighborhood right under a surveillance camera? <laughs> and again, then right after... You know, it just goes to it right at when it's at 33 minutes past the hour. But the biggest problem that I have is there's a lack of supervision. There's no direction on the ground. A first-line supervisor, which is a sergeant, is...
is a terminal component in policing. So when we look at it from a micro perspective, Hey, somebody check it out. I'm doing it in my head, but Castlegate equals 29 in Gematria like black equals 29. Can somebody check that for me, that Castlegate equals 29? I'm just doing it in my head real quick. I think that's right. I think Castlegate is 29 like black's 29, like they say he's 29 years old. I think Castlegate... Right. I got to double check it. No, the George Floyd video was not released May 25th. That's what day it happened. The video was released May 26th. It was not released the day it happened. May 25th, the day it happened, the video that was released that day was the, uh, the white woman who was um, like choking her dog while she called the cops on a black man who was bird watching in Central Park in New York. It was the, that, that was the story on Memorial Day. And then the next day, May 26th, the news story was George Floyd. The George Floyd thing supposedly happened on May 25th, though. I mean, there's a point where you have to intercede and say either stop or physically step between the officer that's assaulting the person and that actual individual, and that didn't happen. No, so not we, even an intimation of such a thing happening. Uh, Charles Ramsey, also with us, the former Philadelphia Police Commissioner. DC. Oh, yeah, hold on. I'm recalculating Castlegate. I saw that somebody said... Yeah, okay, because when I did that, I was like, something must be off, because I'm getting 93 and 29, my mask off. So yeah, okay, it's 93 and 30. Well, remember, 93, big Martin Luther King Jr. number, big Black History Month number, 30 big police number. Shoot, hold on, I missed the whole list that you had there for all the numbers. 177 like Jesuit order, so 30 and 60 like police. We also know the N-word 60. 93 like Martin Luther King Jr., 177 like the Jesuit order. Castlegate. Yeah, 30, 30 has the racial code too. Slavery, N word, both go with the 3060. And they go with police, the 3060. Remember um, April 12th, the anniversary of the start of the American Civil War, you had the Underground Railroad shooting in New York and they blamed it on the old black man. And then they said it took 30 hours to catch him. Police, slavery, N word, all 30. Like Tuskegee, like Martin. Yeah, this Sunday is National Kansas Day. It's the anniversary of the establishment of Kansas is the 34th state. Castlegate Lane's got the 44 on, huh? like officer, like department, like execution, like kill, like MLK killed on 4-4 in Memphis. Scorpion equals 44. They're saying this is the Scorpion unit. Castlegate LN, the way they write it, 119, huh? Just like Fraternal Order of Police, like All Seeing Eye. They want this in the mind's eye, everybody. They waited until we were 40-some uh, minutes in, so it's getting darker and darker in places. Again, they waited until un after sunset. Save the best for last. They waited until the fourth video. Again, four, the number associated with death, to show you the deadly beating on Castle Gate Lane. They have some meaning to this Castlegate thing. Open up the gates for the peasants to go tear up their own city. Again. 
immediacy of threat that was posed to the officers such that they would respond. I see no proportionality with respect to the force and the hitting and the punching and the kicking. Yeah, that, that's, a real, I, that's a really good point. You don't see a single person come out of their homes in this set. How can nobody come out of their house? Imagine that's happening on your block. You're not, nobody's going to open the front door and at least walk out to the driveway. I mean, come on. Exactly. I was saying that too. Minnesota versus Memphis tonight. What are the odds? What are the odds? We call the Timberwolves the 55 team. This is just in time for the 55-year anniversary of the MLK assassination in Memphis. George Floyd beaten in Minnesota. This story, the closest thing to George Floyd. These two teams just happen to be playing each other. And again, it's the 102nd day of the NBA season. George Perry Floyd, 102, like slavery, like N-word, like police. One nineteen thirty eight two oh five seventy racist is seventy. We know thirty eight's like Memphis death, murder, killing, R I P. Oh, hey, remember what corner George Floyd was killed on? George Floyd killed on the corner of thirty eighth in Chicago. So Castlegate L N in Gematria is thirty eight. Of course, Minnesota equals thirty eight like Memphis. The next time these teams play each other is on, on the anniversary of the creation of Black History Month by the federal government. The 10 slash 2 date. Yeah, unbelievable is right. Here, I'll give you some news commentary. Here's how they cover it. Still, nobody's come out of their house. And then they catch, they put him on the ground. Yeah, where's the ambulance? Good point. Talking crap again. Your mom, she can't hear you as if your mom can hear you. And I'm going to um, tase or pepper spray the shit out of you. I'm going to baton the F out of you. They're saying all of these things. That doesn't sound, well, why? What is the need for that? And then they get him on the ground and this pole camera is, you're right, it is the most damning. Now listen, I have to be honest. This is bad in that this man, young man, is dead. Is it Rodney King? I don't believe. I think this is Tyree Nichols. It's different. Rodney King was beat for baton for minutes. If you go back and look at the Rodney King video, Rodney King was on PCP. This gives you this extra strength that police... Rodney King stuff. drove a delivery vehicle too. They said this guy worked for FedEx. This man was killed. Rodney King wasn't killed. He ended up dying eventually from something else. This is awful in its own. This can stand on its own. They said they struck Rodney King 56 times. I never knew that. This is different. Remember, this happened to this guy 56 days after the Superior General's birthday. Society of Jesus 56, Black Lives Matter 56. And then kick him. They leave him there. They prop him up against the car. He falls over. They prop him up against the car. He falls over. They prop him up against the car. He falls over. And you have all these people on the scene that are not rendering help. This is awful. This is a failure. Not only in policing, it's a failure in humanity. And I, I, I'm uncomfortable actually watching it. And I know this is my job as a journalist, but this is uncomfortable. We're watching. Yeah, I suppose, I suppose the best camera being the one that's on the street is, is also part of the agenda, right? This is why we need these kind of cameras all across America. We need the whole nation under surveillance. You know, something else that probably, since this is a contrived set, look at what vehicle they beat him in front of, right? It's a, uh, it's like a um, small RV, but it's a Mercedes. And we all know where Mercedes came from, right? Mercedes was, you know, big manufacturer for the Nazis. Mercedes, Benz, and Gematria equals 56, like Society of Jesus, like Black Lives Matter. Like Adolf Hitler equals 56, who supposedly committed suicide at age 56, but nobody ever found his body. So there's probably something about it being right in front of the bends. Yeah, it, it's, it is a Winnebago, but it's a Mercedes kind. It's not Winnebago brand. 
Yeah, this this guy. Um, Tyree Nichols. He's got the same birthday, June fifth. That is the day they painted Black Lives Matter on Church Street in D.C. Of course, that day can be written five slash six. Oh, that's right. George Floyd was driving. Yeah, George Floyd was driving the Mercedes Benz ML three twenty, and then they took him to a police cruiser three twenty, where they did the kneeling ritual. And again, the 320 mattered because the Twin Cities are very Catholic. And when you write out Roman Catholic Church, it has that Gematria 320. And then um, remember the Catholic Church, the day after the George Floyd story, the Catholic Church in Minnesota settled for $22.5 million for the sexual abuse of children in Minnesota. And George Floyd died on his 225th day of his age. And Derek Chavin got 22 and a half years in prison, all like 225. And, but remember, with regards to the sexual abuse thing, then the day after the uh, George Floyd killing story, we got his second grade teacher reminiscing about the sweet little boy he was. And the teacher's name was Wayne Ol Sexton. Wayne Ol Sexton. Hmm. What a sweet little boy George was. He just wanted to be a Supreme Court justice that Wayne Ol Sexton remembered. Again, all of this stuff, man, it's just, it's obvious who runs the show. It's obvious who runs the show. But yeah, nobody's come out of any of those homes. Super suspect. And it's not even 9 p.m. It's not like it's the middle of the night and everybody's passed out. Not one person comes out of any of the homes there. Movie set. Somebody says they live in Memphis and the tension is ridiculous. Yeah, everyone just so controlled by the screen that lies to them every day. That's what happens when you live in the idiocracy where the people just can't see the obvious. Kayla says Breonna Taylor's birthday is 6'5 as well. Go figure. Her death was before Floyd's but came out after. Yeah, yeah. George Floyd also equaled 65. Absolutely. Absolutely. No, absolutely. Castlegate is their logistics company. It is just amazing the way people allow the screen to control them, man. It's, it's just, it's maddening. It's maddening. That's interesting, Cody. Did they cut these four videos so they would take up an entire one-hour cable news slot? I mean, this is like a joke. Perfectly cut for the cable news slot. Okay. CNN said they were going to show the four videos just as fast as the City of Memphis released him. Dr. Sanjay Gupta, America's most trusted doctor who tried to scare you with bird flu, swine flu, Zika flu, and then finally got his COVID shot by the numbers. 56 days from his birthday, if I recall, on the 70-date numerology. 
when coronavirus equals 56 forwards, 70 in reverse. COVID vaccine, same thing. Five videos on BET. Remember BET has the, or at least they used to have the show, 106 in Park. In Gematria, Memphis equals 106. So does Black. So does Black Lives Matter. And we are still watching. Everyone should understand this is still the actual. Oh, yeah, monkeypox. How could we forget? Yeah, they're not using numerology. It's all a coincidence every day. Finally, the beating video, 33 minutes past the hour. Yeah, 106 in Park, huh? George Floyd beat by the Park Police. Van Jones equals African American. Of course, he does. Yeah, Van Jones is a terrible actor as well. Pretty much all these people on cable news are actors. I'm here. I'm just trying to uh, listen to the nonsense they're saying. The first mama yells at 33 minutes on the data.
where his brain is starting to swell, a concussion, a concussion is turning into something worse, and the two medical professionals are kind of standing around waiting for it's not clear what. But, and, and, and Aaron, this is what we start nine times in over 20 minutes, we understand from watching this. What are you saying I need to do what? And yet what you are struck by watching this is the complete and utter A MacBook so Air? Like what, what do they do? I mean, that there's just, there's absolutely no care for the fact that there's a human being sitting there. Absolutely. You have to take into consideration police officers are public servants. The public is not being served appropriately in this case. But I want to go back to another point that you mentioned earlier, Aaron, in connection with the view that we have, the silent view. The poll camera gives us an unobstructed view, whereas when we look at the body cam video from the officers, it's somewhat juxtaposed, it's bouncing all over the place. So we don't have the we don't have the ability to gain a clear and concise angle. Whereas the poll camera gives us a far more comprehensive perspective as to what's happening. Therefore, we now they're hyping up the poll camera. Man, we need poll cameras on every corner in America. Total surveillance. For an officer to shoot someone and then turn around and do CPR on that same person that they shot. But we look at this situation, we have officers that are clearly embarking upon a campaign of brutality and no one is doing anything to help him. And so it goes back to the failure to act. Exactly. Not one neighbor's come out the whole time. I mean, to me, that's like impossible. Impossible. This is an hour people would be home. This kind of stuff's going on in the corner. Everyone's going to be coming out. That's what people do. from a prosecution perspective with regard to what they're being charged with. And if you look at the charges and you look at their conduct, I think you can match it pretty clearly and make the case in front of a jury. There are people who are asking, hey, is it murder? When I was a little kid, there was a police chase that actually ended in our front yard. We had a big rock out on the corner and the car hit it. And it got stuck there on the rock. And I remember being a little kid, I was like, four or five years old, but I remember going outside that night and people were all over the place looking at what happened. Cops, sirens everywhere. I remember my dad yelling at me to go back in the house, but never seen a scene like that in my lifetime at that point yet. But the whole neighborhood was out there. It'd be the same thing if this was a real neighborhood. This is a set. Rodney King hit 56 times in 70 seconds. Are you kidding me? Again, for Bill, don't know those are those numbers they've coded so many times in so many rituals. They're mathematically related. Fifty-six is seventy in Base Eight County. It's really hard, hard to watch. Incredibly hard to watch, and of course, five of them are charged with second degree, and a lot of others. Nine or ten we've counted coming now. Oh, that have charges for we don't know where that's gone. Ambulance just showed up. Ambulance shows up at uh, two minutes past nine. Took a long time for the ambulance to get here. Training of these officers and exactly what's the reason? If John Miller, can you can you answer this question? What's the reason for these poll cameras? Who's watching these poll cameras? If you have Yeah, what's the reason for these poll cameras? We're not used to these in neighborhoods. This is the new example of why we need them in every neighborhood in America. Yeah, the DeMar Hamlin, well, remember the DeMar Hamlin thing had everything to do with uh, the third degree of masonry, the Hiram Abiff kneeling ritual, which is related to the King of Tyre, which is spelled the same way as Tyree spelled in this. Again, Masons and Jesuits performing their rituals on America, and most people just not seeing what's being done to them. The nonstop mind control, the nonstop distractions, the nonstop stories, keeping everybody focused on what they want them focused on.
and again, as they get in this conversation about, man, this, this poll camera is great, man. If only we had more of these. All right, anyway, you guys, that's probably, um, that's probably the last of the footage they're going to show because now they're getting into the next CNN story or, or news program. It is past the hour. I think we'll leave it there for now. About time for me to make dinner for Sweet Lady. And um, anyhow, appreciate the, uh, the cooperation in the chat. Lots of great observations, great decoding. And um, I'm sure if we go back and take a second look, Probably even more to be seen. We'll see what comes tonight. Will they unleash Antifa? It'll be sundown here out on the West Coast in about probably less than an hour. We'll see what cities make the headlines. I'll be back to cover a true seeker. Have a good rest of your evening, or if you're D26, have a good rest of your day. And... Um, Again, until next time, true seeker.